Hi, I'm Peter Birch, and in this week's show, we're going to take a closer look at Australian monitors. I think they're awesome. Welcome to Criticam. What we have here is a magnificent specimen of a lace monitor. Now, the lace monitor is endemic to the east coast of Australia. You find these guys in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and down across into South Australia. The funny thing is, when you get down into the south, southern areas, these guys typically have these big, thick, black and yellow bands. Now, this is a very desirable looking animal, and they call it the Bell's Phase Lace Monitor. Now, believe it or not, these guys are very, very powerful creatures. And in fact, this guy wants to tear me apart if he can't bite me. And that's what he's thinking of doing right now. They love climbing trees and they're very, very good at it. These feet and these claws are very well adapted to climb up the trees very quickly. They can also use those to pull apart the carcasses of dead animals to consume them. What a spectacular animal. Question of the week. What is Australia's smallest monitor? Is it the spiny-tailed monitor, the short-tailed monitor, or the striped-tailed monitor? Leave a comment below and get the answer at the end of the show. What we have here is the short-tailed monitor, the smallest monitor in the world. Truly an exceptionally cool looking little critter. And in fact, unlike the bigger monitors, these guys have got very short stumpy arms and very long elongated bodies as you can see. It's because these guys like to dig and they burrow down into the sand. And that's what they really love. This female is gravid. You can see how big she is around the back legs here. That's because she's got eggs. Now these guys can lay up to four eggs. Mostly about two to three because they're so big. They'll dig down into the enclosure, right to the bottom, deposit their eggs, and then climb back up. Absolutely stunning little critters. We're very lucky to have this beautiful sand monitor. Look at those magnificent yellow coloration. These guys are very quick and agile. In fact, when you go out chasing these guys through the bush, they're so quick, they scoot across the ground, they shoot down the first burrow or hole they can find. They prefer to go down rather than up like the lace monitors. Hence the name, sand monitors. They inhabit the real sandy inland of Australia. <laughs> awesome creatures. What we have here is a Gillens monitor. It's also a very small monitor classified as one of the dwarf monitors in Central Australia. In fact, these guys inhabit all the way from the top of South Australia, right up through Central Australia, up into Western Australia. These guys are endemic and they love trees. And in fact, when you find a rotten hollow tree, you'll find these guys hiding inside. Just look how cool he is. He's sitting right there and he's very relaxed. They make great pets. What we have here is a Spencer's monitor. These are one of the larger monitors in Australia. These guys are endemic to the Barkley Tablelands. They inhabit the black soil plains. These guys are absolutely spectacular animals. They're a decent sized animal. They don't typically like to bite that much, but what they do is they use this very large thickened tail to smash as a warning sign. And inhabiting those large plains, these guys are pretty quick on the go. It's a striped tailed monitor. Only found in Western Australia. These guys very closely associated with dead mulga trees. Living in the cracks, they squeeze right in there. And you can see, it's so small, they're pretty cool. These guys feed on skinks tails, small skinks and geckos. And if they're lucky, they can catch some insects. But the stripes on the tails is a dead giveaway. And this is a beautiful little creature, look at it. Look at those lovely dots on the back there and that nice red flash. It's very cool. This is a Kimberley rock monitor. These guys are spectacular. You can just imagine finding these guys in the Kimberleys, especially up through Arnhem Land, through the Rock Escarpments. Some very dry, harsh country indeed these guys inhabit. And in fact, when we look closely in their back patterns and the markings on them, we can almost see some spectacular Aboriginal artwork right there. Look at those colours, look at the patterns. Spectacular little animals. And in fact, these guys are still classed as a small monitor. They don't grow very big at all, in fact. They've got this nice, cool, really long neck and very elongated head to live deep inside those rock crevices. Spectacular. 
got ourselves a rare treat. A Merton's water monitor. These guys are semi-aquatic. They like to eat fish, small eels, crabs and crayfish. Very fast in the water, very fast on the land. In fact, these guys inhabit the northern reaches of Australia. He's not very happy about this. He's got long, powerful claws like all monitors. But what these guys have got is an extra adaption. Their tails. Their tails are a little bit broader and thinner, which enables them to be cruise through the water more efficiently. He's not very happy about being handled this far. Let's see him calm down a little bit. Come on, fella. There we are. Australia's largest monitor species, the Parenti. These guys can grow up to about three metres in length, inhabiting central Australia. Absolutely spectacular animals. They are fast moving creatures. These guys hunt down some very cool animals indeed. <laughs> this guy's awesome. This week's question was, what is Australia's smallest monitor? You guessed B, short-tailed monitor. You are 100% correct. Congratulations. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show all about these beautiful Australian monitors. As my mate Josh and I would like to say, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. You've been watching Critter Cam.